Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. Today I am bringing a very quick review of the Creality Space Pi Plus. Now this is the dual version. You do have the single version, but Creality kindly sent me this to review, and this is the dual version. So as you can see, the aesthetics of the machine for me is really clean and um, really easy to use with the lift off lid so you don't have to lift off anything um, that basically is at the front so it stays as it is. Um, obviously you can see the uh, PTFE tubes come in from two different sides so you could feed two machines if you require um, or you could be drying one uh, filament on one side and then feeding on the other so you're, you're making use of this machine. And there's quite a lot of machines out there and if you see my eBoss review that's also really uh, a really good filament dryer so it'd be interesting to put them up against each other. I know that this one doesn't have the uh, 360 motion so you can't dry but it does have the uh, 360 airflow. So we're going to look into that, we'll show the website how they actually describe that works. So as you can see we, at the back we have an on off switch which I'll show in the unboxing and at the front you have the touch screen and that just basically means that you don't have to reach at the back if you leave it on you can do so. The PV is the current temperature of the filament dryer inside. The 52% um, is your residual humidity in there at the moment and then you have your set value which is dictated by the material you're selecting but you can make manual adjustments to that just by simply clicking the cog. And then you've got your material and the amount of time that that is going to be drying for. So you could use it while in use or you could dry your items prior to using it for future reference. And you could seal it in with some desiccant in a bag. So just by simply pressing the, tog, uh, the um, cog wheel, it just changes each one. So it, you can change your set value just by going up and down as you can see like that. And then what material? So you've got TPU, uh, PP, ABS, ASA, PETG, polycarbonate, um, and PA, and then PET, and then PLACF, and then PETG, PETGCF, and PACF. So there's a lot there, but you can make changes yourself if you require to do so. So what we'll do is we'll do the unboxing. I just wanted to go over the aesthetics. Um, for me it's lovely and clean, it looks nice up against this um, K1 Max, but also you could be fe uh, feeding a machine below and above just by simply directioning the PTFE tubes to the direction that you require. So what we're going to do now, have a quick unboxing of this to show what comes in the box itself and then we'll do some prints and I'll show you um, the functionality in a bit more detail. But yeah, so if keep on watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It all helps me to bring content to you all. Okay, so heading over to the Creality Store, you'll find the section for um, 3D printers and then um, extras. And then you'll find the Creality Space Pi um, Plus in there. <clears throat> so as you can see, currently it's £89. Um, and I believe there's a sale on for the Black Friday at, at the time of making this video. Um, they, they have the usual um, returns policy and 100% checkout. So it's a two roll capacity, adjustable temperature between 45 and 70 degrees and a drying time between 0 and 48 hours and various different materials. So obviously why would you need it? Pretty obvious um, if your filament's wet it, it tends to bad, have bad... Um, impact on the actual quality of your print so having a dryer helps with that um you can have four different locations for it so you can go from the front or the rear um and like i said earlier it's a 360 dryer motion using the um blowers so it heats up a coil and then blows around and the shape of the actual dryer helps with that it comes with a four inch touch screen as well and 12 different types of filaments that it can cope with so um a quick word from today's video sponsor PCB Way. PCB Way are a PCB board manufacturer, but not only do they do PCB boards, they also do FPC rigid flex, advanced PCB boards, CNC and 3D printing, and even SMD stencils. It's a really easy to use website. You can basically select the service you want, and it will give you a quote 
and they even do worldwide delivery. On that website, you also want to check out for some competitions and little programs that they run, and they even have special uh, kits that you can buy as well. So that's PCBWay.com, today's video sponsor. So let's carry out the unboxing. Um, nice sturdy box. All boxes now come with the um, polystyrene covers. Um, the first thing out of the box is um, the power cable, and that'll be appropriate for your country. So mine is the UK. So let's put that to the side. And then two PTFE tubes. Um, so these are um, optional where you put it on the actual machine, on the um, dryer itself. And then a small instructions manual. And to be honest with you, uh, it's really just for reference. I don't think you need it to build. It's pretty much as it is. It just goes through some of the guides of how to make changes and then various languages on the other side. So let's take it out of the box now. Um, careful not to drop it or damage it. Another thing to add is that there is a single spool version of this, so slightly cheaper. But for me personally, I think that the Plus um, has more options for it. So you could be printing and drying um, a spool at the same time. So the opportunities of using it for various things, it just is it's increased. So like I say, you could dry and use at the same time. So um, we're going to take it out of the packaging now and um, take a deep dive into the actual look of it, some of the functions. While I'm unboxing this, um, I can feel the quality of the build as well. So it is plastic, but I can feel that it's quite sturdy. Nothing looks like it's gonna fall off. The lid is actually on um, a latch, so it's not just gonna drop off. Um, got a little peely bit there we can take off. So this is where you can fit the two PTFEs, but there's also two at the rear as well. Personally, I'm gonna gonna go from the front. So inside, as you can see, um, you've got the two little rollers. Now these are just little independent rollers. And then you've got the fan. So this sort of um, blows hot air around and you see the shape of the lid kind of creates like a, a 360 vortex. In there is also some desiccant. So there's actually two, there's one on the left and one on the right. So it'd be worth changing those over every so often. And that just clips back into place but obviously make sure you put it the right way. It's always a good start. Um, that's obviously the humidity sensor. Um, yeah, so inside, pretty basic. Doesn't look like you can get much access to it. Like I said, here's the on-off switch and the power unit cable. Um, yeah, aesthetically, it looks really sleek. And like I say, doesn't look like you can get much access to this. It doesn't look like there's any screws unless they're probably under the feet, which is something that they might well do um, to try and limit the amount of um, interference. Um, like I said earlier, it's a four inch touchscreen. So overall, like the quality of the actual build and the stylish look of it, having that next to your printers um, and the, the fact that it's dual as well, I think there's some like huge benefits of having this. So I'm gonna do some prints and um, show them at the end of the video. Okay, before I show some prints, I'm just going to go into the screen a bit more because earlier on in the video it was uh, not very clear. So you you switch on from the back and then press the on switch. And that gives you the humidity temperature, uh, the temperature that you've got set, and then the type of material and the length of time. So to make changes, you press the cog um, and that will go, there's like an arrow that points at whatever um, part that you want to change. So let's just say materials. So it's got 12 different types of material functions, but you can make adjustments if you want to make um, it slightly different. And then you've got the um, amount of time, so two hours, three hours. And then once you've done that, literally as soon as you've done that, it's, it starts the machine. As soon as you add a time to it, it starts the machine. Um, you can make adjustments while it's printing and it doesn't adjust the time. That stays as it is. Um, if you wanted to do it for another three hours, four hours, 10 hours, whatever it is that you're doing, you can make adjustments like that. So um, let's have to have a look, quick look inside. So obviously it's hard to show the um, airflow, but I can feel the heat coming from there and the actual lid shape, that's gonna create like a 360 um, flow round. So that's kind of what that's kind of achieving. 
Um, obviously on the other printer, uh, on the filament dryer that I used at EBOS, that actually had a rotating wheel. So it actually rotated the um, filaments inside. But this has 360 air technology. Um, not sure on the coverage of whether that would actually work, but I, I'm sure it does. Um, the shape of it kind of points me in the direction that it would do that. So what I'm doing right now is just putting the PTFE tubes into the top part. So I'm just going to adjust the camera so that you can see that. Okay, so obviously with these PTFE tubes, you can print from two different ways, upwards, downwards, sideways. And with the fact that it doesn't interfere with the lid, you don't have to keep removing it, which, which I really like that some um, filament dryers actually stop you from doing that properly. Um, yeah. So, so far, it's really, um, aesthetically, it looks amazing, especially up against any Creality printers. So, as you can see, the temperature's rising at the moment. It's going to hit 50 degrees. Um, it just shows you it's reaching the temperature pretty quickly, to be honest with you. Bearing in mind, it's only been running for about just under two minutes, and it's almost at the set temperature. So, if, you are print if you're printing in PACF, so you would go to the cog, go to the material, and then select the correct one on there, which after a couple of touches should be there. And then we, there we go. So that's the temperature that it's saying to do. So we just lift up the lid, put the roll in. If you're not using it, it you don't need to feed it through the um, uh, the actual Bowden tube. So yeah, as you can see, it's now adjusting the temperature to go to 65 now. So yeah, overall, it's looking really great. So overall, um, I've been using the Creality Space Pi um, Plus now for a few days and my prints have really improved. Um, I'll show some prints at the very end of this video and these are everything that I've done through the K1 Max and the Ender 3 V3 Plus and I was actually printing at the same time using the two different directions and it seemed to do the job really well. So I'm going to show those prints. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, 3DP UK Tech Channel. From the nozzle to the bed, I'm dissecting the crime. Laser beams cutting through ahead of the blind. Stay tuned, I'm breaking it down. Click and subscribe. 3DP UK with a vision to